Friends and neighbors were talking about the sixth. The sixth. <laughs> Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome back to the Brownstone. My name is Rich Brown. Uh, a while back, I did a video all about my favorite interval in the world, sixth. And today, I want to continue on with something so beautiful. It's such a, a gorgeous pattern and a great exercise. And you can really turn these exercises, any sequential pattern, any sequential exercise, into music. People will argue that these exercises and playing scales and all that stuff is not music. Listen, if you don't know how to turn those scales into music, don't blame the scale, all right? There's music in all of this stuff and really beautiful music as well. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go down to the C major scale, starting on the eighth fret of the E string and playing through on all four strings until I get to G on the E string, sorry, G on the G string. Right? So I'm going all the way up to like the octave of the fifth. Now, check this out. Earlier on in a very old video, I talked about this idea of taking the interval of sixths through the major scale. And when I do that, it's a very easy way to think about it. It's like any sequential pattern that you have, you can go by the degrees of the scale, in other words, the numbers. And if I think about sixths, then what I can do, that word is always going to mess me up. Always. Sixths. What I can do is I can start with the root, the sixth, that's one six. Then I can just add one number to each. There's two seven, three to the eighth, the octave, fourth to the ninth, fifth to the tenth, sixth to the eleventh, so on and so forth. Now the cool thing about this is that rhythmically it's up for interpretation. Depending on what time signature you're playing, it's not a very even phrase, right? If you're just playing in 4-4, four, 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 the phrase is not very even. So you can extend any note at any time in order to make the phrase fit the time signature. So if I'm playing in 4-4, four, four, then maybe I want to go... So the pattern is in my head. I know what the notes, I know what notes I'm going for. The rhythm is up for interpretation. So once you have that down, then you can do the reverse of the pattern and come down the scale with the same uh, idea. Which means if we reverse the pattern, that means we're going to play here from that G and then go down the, to the sixth below that and then come up the scale gives us this pattern. Make sense? I hope that makes sense. The simplest way to think about it is to add or subtract one from each pair of notes, right? Which is why I always suggest you write your exercises down so that you know exactly what's going on. You can either write them down in notation, write them down in tab, or just write down the degrees of the scale that you're working with with each of these exercises. Either way, it's really going to help you to get the exercise into the muscle memory, into the ears, so that you know what the exercise sounds like and when you hit a wrong note, and exactly how to correct yourself. So here I'm going to play a variation on the exercise and show you just how cool it can be when you play through. Um, I'm essentially going to be playing the exercise as is, and then every once in a while I might play a note above or below wherever I'm starting from, just to make things a little bit more interesting melodically. All right? It's going to sound like this. 
One, two, three, four. Can't argue with that. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Just a very short exercise to help you to really turn these scales and these scale patterns, these sequential exercises into music. Don't blame the scale. Huh? The music is in there, no matter how you look at it. I'm gonna leave it at that. Short and sweet, nice simple exercise to keep you going and to challenge you a little bit, which is what I'm all about here on the brownstone. I want to thank you for joining me. If you like this lesson, you know what to do. All the information is in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe, donate, join the channel. All that stuff is down below. As always, I thank you so much for visiting me here in the brownstone. Have fun with this exercise and I will see you in the next video. Peace.